Hi, a while back I showed you how to make a baked potato maker for your microwave using butter bowls. Now, I'm, this, I have an upgrade to this, and I want to show you how to make a great baked potato or even steamed vegetables. Now, what I have is two butter bowls. One fits inside the other one. They are both imperial. As you can see, this is solid. Now, this one has small holes drilled through it. I got quite a bit of holes. There's probably about, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, 22 holes in the bottom. That will fit right in there. Now, of course, I still have the top. I have been using this for a very long time to make baked potatoes. I only have eight holes in this. But I'm going to turn this into a steamer to steam a baked potato and it turns out very well doing it this way I found that the ends do not get hard at all so you take your regular imperial butter bowl or whatever butter bowls you have with lids I have a lot of these imperial bowls you put the one with the holes inside the one without the holes of course Push down firmly. Then you add about three quarters of a cup of water. I'm just going to pour that right in there. You can see the water is going down right through the holes. And if it is sitting at the top, it's not a big deal like if there's extra water in there it's really not a big issue mm, got a little dirt in there if you think there's too much water you can always pour some out but three quarters cup is about right you have to forgive me I'm over here making ice for my girlfriend now when you make your baked potatoes you take a knife and you cut this way in this way about halfway through now I apologize I have to set my phone down um, to be able to do this let's see if I can do it without losing the phone Now I cut about halfway through, not all the way, about halfway through, going long ways and width ways. Then I'll put the potato in here, put the lid on it, and we will put this in the microwave and hopefully my breaker doesn't trip because I have the dryer going here. Now I'm going to start this off at 10 minutes. And I will be back just about the time that goes off. Then we will check the potato. And if it needs a little bit more cooking, we can always leave it in there. That's not an issue. But I will be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, we're back. As you can see, it has 12, 11, 10 seconds or so. Now, I did grab a pot holder. And let's get midnight here. Midnight, you stanker. There we go. Now, let's check this. This is going to be really hot. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hot. Now, let's check this and see if we have to leave it in anymore. This is going to be a royal pain to grab. Grab like this with one hand. And you can see steam coming out the top. Let's set it over here. You can see that. Now, if you need to leave it in a little bit longer for the size of your potato, you're more than welcome to. I'm trying to 
get some without burning myself because it's quite hot. Let me blow on it here. Almost perfect. Now, if I would have left it in probably about a minute longer, it would have been absolute perfect, but it is plenty soft. Even the ends, let me get an end here. There's an end. Oh, that's good, and it's hot. Okay. Now, I want you to see something in the bottom. Look at the water. The dirt, anything left on the potato, is going into the bottom in the water. It's actually really good and it's really hot. Let's set this aside. Alright, now I could have left that in for probably another minute. For 11 minutes for a potato that size. Now you can do two potatoes in here at once if they fit. You have to adjust the cooking time for your microwave. Um, if you have anything from a 700 watt higher, you need to adjust the cooking time. Just check. Um, and that way you'll know when your potato is done. If you want to, halfway through, you can actually flip the potato over if you need to. I found no reason to because this whole thing fills up with steam. So this is not only a potato steamer. You can make vegetables in here and steam potatoes, steam carrots, uh, broccoli, things like that in your microwave. Now since this is a plastic butter bowl and it gets very, very hot, I do not recommend leaving it in there more than... I'd say 12 to 15 minutes at a time before you take it out and check your food. And I'll make sure the bowls are all right. Like I said, this is my old baked potato maker. It is now a steamer. And made this away with the two butter bowls and the water. The ends are not hard whatsoever. Before it goes right through. And that's good. And you see the four goes right into it. And it's kind of trying to fall apart on me. That's good. Alright, if you want to make one of these, the drill bit I used, I can't remember the size of it, but I do have some things for comparison here. Here's my old MP3 player. It's really small. Here's my finger on my MP3 player. So it's you know it's pretty small. Here's a closed pin. And here's the drill bit. Now this one was broke and I do use it in the house for stuff like this. It was much longer uh, before it broke. There we go. That's pretty close to the size of the holes I have. If you want more steam to stay in it, use less holes on the top. But I do recommend at least eight holes. So it does not warp. It does let some of the steam out. Now, I recommend at least 20 holes in the bottom. What's happening is your microwave is boiling the water in the bottom container and heating it up and sending the steam into the second container and the lid is holding that steam in and letting just enough steam out to where it doesn't buckle the lid out once again there we go there and look at the water That was absolutely clean water that I put in there. And you can see all, how the water is yellow. Alright, this is a DIY steamer. Now, I will be making another video uh, probably in the next few days about something totally different. But, 
if you want to make baked potatoes in the microwave that do not get hard the ends don't get hard I mean start at 10 minutes and then add stick a fork in it add time as you need it oh that's still really hot so this is a good way to make baked potatoes in the microwave and the steamed vegetables basically what I did was made a steamer where the water's in the bottom container the food is in the second container pushed down with a lid with enough holes to let some steam out to where it will not buckle your containers and like I said since it is plastic I would not leave it in there for more than I'd say 12 to 15 minutes at a time but given the size of this butter bowl here I can actually hold two potatoes in there and I don't know if you can still see the steam coming out I don't know if you see that on camera but there is steam and that baked potato is nearly perfect I could have left it in like I said I left it in for 10 minutes I could have left it in another minute to make it 11 minutes and it would have been probably perfect it's good now don't get me wrong I mean my fork goes right through it it's good now and it's still hot so this is a easy way to make a steamer if you want to make baked potatoes steamed vegetables things like that if you're going to use this for a long period of time make sure you pull this up and check your water levels because you have to have water in this bottom container for to work as a steamer three quarters a cup of water seems to work perfect for this once again here's the little drill bit I use for the holes and the potato is pretty much perfect but like I said I could have left it in for probably another minute instead of 10 minutes I could have put in it for 11 because the size of the potato and you can put two potatoes you just go this way or this way just make sure you cut your potatoes about halfway down both directions and that way you can cook and steam it real easy all right that's it I'm fixing to go once again I'll be making another video pretty soon but not about stuff like this anyway if you have any questions about any of my videos please feel free to ask I'm more than happy to answer those questions but if you want a homemade steamer this does the job if you make a lot of baked potatoes and you're in college or something with a microwave and you would like to have some baked potatoes a little steamer like this you can make great baked potatoes and steam other things all right that's it I'm facing go everyone have a good day bye